Hi viewers, welcome to my channel. In today's topic, we will discuss about how to design a water bottle in SOLIDWORKS by using revolve features and some wrap features. Okay. Okay, open your SOLIDWORKS tool, go for file, new, now click on part and click on OK. Now click on front plane, go for sketch, make it normal. Okay, now draw a rectangle okay uh, by using lines click on line click on for construction go for line and just draw a rectangle now click on smart dimension make this dimension as 30.5 okay and this one is 212.5 okay now click on line yes uh, we'll start from here okay uh, from here don't go for midpoint stop here and draw a line again here again small line here down here okay now click on smart dimension this is 12.5 okay this one is 14 and this one is 6 mm and this one is 0 0.5 mm okay now click on line uh, click this point and uh, again go back you will get a arc okay and go for smart dimension and let this arc be radius of around 40 okay now uh, we'll make this dimension from year to year will give around 40 okay now again click on line click from your point and uh, draw again go backward and you will get arc okay and go for smart dimension and and give this radius of around 200 okay now okay again go for smart dimension from this point to this and uh, give around 57.5 okay now go for three point arc and and what to do is uh, no no three point just draw a line make line and again go backward um, in the point over here okay stop line now go for smart dimension uh, add relation sorry click already it's uh, this arc and click this line and make this as tangent okay now what you're going to do is again draw a line here and line here and over here okay now this is 1.1 1 .1, okay and this one is 40 and you can draw a line from here At most here okay now go for smart dimension this one from here to here give us 25 okay now again draw click on line and from here draw a line and again go backward we'll get a arc again and, uh, come and continue the line go backward you'll get a arc okay and again draw a line and go backward we will get the arc okay now put this arc in this line okay now click on smart dimension okay and this from here to here give dimension of around 7.5 okay and make this radius as 25 okay now and make this radius as 6 okay and this radius as 45 okay now 
click now what you do is and you will make this one and this one tangent okay go for add relation click this and this line click on tangent and click ok now just close the sketch click on line for closing the sketch from here to here you have to draw a line ok and exit sketch now click on go for features revolve ok and revolve asks for axis click on this one and check for 360 and click ok ok now select on front plane click on sketch and make normal uh, it's better to draw this in wireframe ok now click on line make for, for construction from this draw a line ok uh, give dimension of around this one is 65 ok and click on ok and again click on line click on midpoint line so draw a line from here to here and make sure it's horizontal ok and again continue this line around as 25 mm make this dimension as 25 ok and this one again here from here to here 25 ok select on 3 point arc and make an arc and make this uh, radius as 46 and exit sketch now just extrude cut click on extrude cut in direction 1 click on through all both and click ok and it asks for bodies to keep and need to keep all the bodies click on ok ok now if you see in this mode you can see two bodies are there ok and again now what you have to do is uh, you need a plane to be tilted this front plane to be tilted around 45 degree ok now what we will do is simple method we will just click uh, by holding control click on this and this right plane now click on reference geometry in plane you will get the you see uh, median of this uh, two planes you will get ok now click on ok now click on front plane plane 1 and you need to make a sketch make it normal ok now I think uh, again go in wireframe mode click on this and convert entities this one to be converted ok now offset this one mm, to 20 in reverse direction make this cap so not by direction click on cap ends click on lines and click ok and make this now construction and click on 3 point torque from here to here draw arc and make this dimension of around 40 ok now exit sketch so again extrude cut ok uh, through all both and click ok now see this in this mode ok now what you have to do is ok I like this plane now next step you need to loft from here to here ok uh, for that ok now we will select this top plane I will click on this top not top plane this face ok and I will go for sketch and I will make it normal now I just I will make a circle with dia around 59 ok I will exit sketch now what you have to do is you need to uh, create the impression that is you need to split the uh, split this faces by using the sketch ok just you do one thing click on split line ok uh, the sketch which you are going to split select the sketch and the faces which are going to split by the sketch click on this two face and click ok ok you can see that uh, 59 dia circle impression ok now I like this one I think now what do you do? go for front plane again go for sketch 
make it normal now you have to draw three point torque okay uh, okay i'll draw somewhere else from here to here okay and a smart dimension i'll mention this around 110 okay now what you have to do is uh, just uh, wait go for add relation click on this point and make a cursor over this uh, one edges okay and click on pierce add relation and click ok okay again same thing you have to do here also G click on add relation click on this point and click on this curve and click pierce okay and click ok now just exit sketch these are nothing but the guide curves for the loft option okay again same click on front plane simultaneous you have to do for this side also and again go in three point dot draw somewhere else like this and give dimension of around 110 mm and click on add relation click on this point and click on this curve okay and pierce it again click on add relation click on this point and click on this curve mm, something wait clear selection again i'll select this point and this curve pierce it click on ok now i'll ex exit sketch now these two sketches are, are in front plane simultaneously i'll click on right plane i'll make a sketch okay again make a three point arc okay click on go for add relation uh, no clear selection click in this point and click on this curve sorry it's selected face click on this curve and pierce it click ok again add relation click in this point click on this curve pierce it and give okay, for smart dimension give some radius of around 76 ok exit sketch again right pin click on sketch make normal and again go for three point arc ok give radius of around 76 ok now what you have to do is uh, sorry add relation this point and this curve pierce it and this point and this curve ok uh, add relation already that the curve was missing like this point pierce it ok click on ok now exit sketch now click on this uh, button now what you have to do is click on loft option ok in profile section you have to select this curve and this curve ok so for guide curves you have to select all the four ok sketches one two three four now look and click on ok 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 now we will do some fillet option uh, first i will hide this plane ok click on fillet I mm, will make one hour radius ok and the items to be filled I will select this edge and this edge ok I will select this edge one and I will select this edge I will select this edge one I will select this one now I'll click OK and again I'll go for fillet and I'll fillet this this edge this one this one okay now I'll click OK 
now uh, now we'll design this bottom part okay now what you have to do is select on right plane go for sketch make this normal okay now I'll draw a construction line nor okay normal line from this point to this so I'll make this one dimension as around 19.5 okay and I'll give some angle here so the angle will give around 122.25 okay I'll exit sketch so why I've created this line means I'll create a I'll I'll going to create a plane over this point okay okay I'll unite this one click on plane click first reference click on this line and second reference click on this point okay and click ok now based on this plane again you are going to draw a sketch okay click on this plane go for sketch and okay make this normal okay now you hide this go for in wireframe mode okay now you will going to draw construction line from here to here you will be I'll give this 2.8 okay and again I'll draw a line from here to here I'll give around 17.2 okay I'll make this both cars construction from I now I'll draw a circle of dia around 6 mm okay and from here I'll draw a midpoint line I'll make this dimension as 23.1 okay now what I'm going to do is I'll draw a line from here to here and okay again I'll draw a line if you click over the circle it will ask for option tangent okay now it's already in tangent to the circle uh, I'll just power trim trim this one this one and I'll trim this one this one okay now it's the sketch is closed okay now I'll exit sketch now I need to sketch a guide curve okay uh, again I'll go for right plane sketch I'll make normal now I'll unite the sketch okay now I'll go for three point arc okay Okay, I just I'll draw some three point talk. Now I'll give radius of around thirty six. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. No need. Now what I'll go do is I'll go add relation. This one I'll add this one to be coincident. Okay now I'll make normal now I'll drag this uh, point somewhere else ok or else I'll give some dimension from here to here it just needed around 5 mm 5.3 will be and from here to here we will give some around 14 no, we will give from here to here we will give some around 14 and from year to year we will give 
around 5.3 Now we'll exit the sketch. Okay, we can just hide all the sketches. Now what I've done is go for um, sweep cut. Okay, click on sweep cut, and the sketch profile we are going to cut. Select on this one sketch. Okay, and the guide curve. Click on this one. Okay, we'll get a sweep cut and click. Okay, mm -hmm. and okay. If you see in this mode. You can see okay now unhide all the things sorry hide the things now what you're gonna going to go for fillet click on fillet and fillet this thing give around three then click on fillet click on this one and make it as five okay now what you got now just click on circular pattern the features and fa faces click on this fillet 1 and fillet 3 4 and also the sweep cut and direction click on this one okay and total number of features you need is 5 right and click ok now your bottom face is ready if you see in this mode, it will be nice, look, look nice, okay. Uh, now, we'll use some text in this area. Uh, your required or uh, necessary text, okay. So, click on insert, features, click on wrap, and click on which plane you want. So, I'll select right plane. It Now, it uh, now click on this uh, text, okay. Uh, in this text, uh, type your necessary names. Okay, I'll go for my channel name. CAD space is easy, right? Easy. Okay, and uh, necessary sizes. You can see this very small, right? You can uh, make some necessary sizes by clicking this one, and I'll make this around 170, and in font size. I'll make this sorry I'll make 15 now and I'll click ok so I'll space place somewhere else here ok and ok ok uh, I, I'll be placing somewhere here and click ok and I'll exit sketch uh, in this wrap method click on spline surface so in which the I'll select, I'll select this surface and you want this deboss or emboss uh, click on anything if you want Cl I'll, I'll go for emboss ok and and I'll click ok uh, so I could not use ok wait I need to edit this sketch ok now I'll click this I'll edit this sketch okay I go change some sizes wait I'll make this as 10 okay okay I'll now exit sketch wait insert features wrap click on the sketch uh, we clicked on the sketch and uh, features wrap okay by default it's taken the sketch number 17 on which face you want to emboss click on this okay uh, I need to this one right you can see this preview uh, now it's okay now click on okay you can see your cha channel name CAD is easy okay now you're, you need to shell right Sh click on shell I need of 0.8 mm thickness and the faces to be neglected this one right I click this one and now I will click this ok now the bottle has been uh, created now the last thing the neck part you have to finish right ok now I will click on this right plane go for sketch I will make this normal mm -hmm. 
ओके नाउ मेक दिस नॉर्मल ओके गो फॉर स्केच क्लिक ऑन लाइन ओके स्टार्ट फ्रॉम यर सो फ्रॉम यर ड्रा लाइन एंड लाइक दिस वन एंड दिस वन ओके नाउ गो फॉर स्मार्ट डायमेंशन and this one make one mm okay and this one as 1.75 okay and this one as 1.5 mm mm okay now and this one as 2 mm and the total distance is around 7.75 mm and make this with angle it i'll just drag the mouse over here now i'll make angle this one for this one around 30 and and this one dimension of around 2.25 and i'll make this line as vertical okay okay now we have sketched this is closed now just draw one construction line for revolve option okay just select this midpoint just draw okay and exit sketch now we'll go for features go for revolve base okay uh, you check for 360 degree and click okay now uh, give necessary fillets so i'll give here as 0.5 this two sides i'll make fillet here around 1 and i'll make this fillet here around 1.5 okay now uh, this section has finished now we have to finish the thread bond okay now what you have to do is uh, click on this plane and make uh, offset some plane plane to of 1.5 yeah mm on reverse direction click on flip offset okay okay F and click on this plane 3 go for sketch make normal now what you have to do is uh, convert entities this sketch this uh, curve okay convert entities click exit sketch now click on elix spiral and by default your previous sketch has been chosen so we need to give for pitches 3 okay and revolution is 2.4 and start angle 45 degree and in clockwise okay now in now everything check it and click okay okay and now you need to uh, do the profile for the thread okay now i'll select this right plane click on sketch make normal now i'll do the sketch uh for click on construction from construction from year to year i'll make this 1.5 okay from one now again click on construction from year to year i'll draw a line again sorry not this one i'll delete this one mm and the length of this line is around 1.15 okay now uh, now i'll draw normal line of length around 0.75 okay i'll draw another line okay and i'll draw another line okay and convert entities not converted sorry trim entities 
make this corner okay click ok now click in smart dimension this angle should be around 15 okay now I'll mirror this one okay mirror it is like this one this one this one mirror about this axis okay now I'll exit sketch uh, now I'll do this uh, sweep okay click I'll click on sweep by default the sketch has been selected and the path uh, unite the everything on the path click on this one okay you will get the thread profile now uh, and at last some basic uh, things you have to do is just uh, click on chamfer this one uh, on reverse flip direction click ok and again chamfer click on this one again in reverse direction click ok same thing you have to do here also click on chamfer this one reverse direction click ok click on chamfer this one flip direction ok now clean fillet just to make this a 0 0.2 mm this one 0 0.2 mm click ok and at the bottom make this two fillets click ok ok now everything is finished if you click in this view it will look nice ok ok that's all thanks for watching thanks for watching my videos for more videos like this kindly subscribe my channel cad is easy